All right, I do 7.4B. Okay. As always, I begin with my rules. I read the entire word problem, underline or highlight the specific question, label by circling all numbers, boxing all key terms, eliminate and explain, and evaluate, and I select and solve for the correct answer option. All right. A worker uses 450 inches of steel wire to make 300 springs of the same size. At this rate, how many inches of steel were wire are needed to make one spring? Okay. The word problem is red. Now to underline the specific question. A worker uses 450 inches of steel wire to make 300 springs of the same size. At this rate, how many inches of steel wire are needed to make one spring? That's the specific question, which has been highlighted. All right. At this rate, let's label, let's figure out how many inches of steel are required and how many springs can be made. So 450 inches of steel wire to make 300 springs of the same size. At this rate, how many inches of steel wire are needed to make one spring? All right, so we're gonna make one spring. Okay, let's cross this off, the labeling. So, 450 inches are required to make 300 springs. So, let's divide. 450 inches divided by 300 springs. All right, so in this case, it's gonna be inches divided by springs. To figure out how many inches are required to make just one spring. So 450 divided by 300, we can simplify this by dividing them both by 150, okay? So let's divide them both by 150. So 450 over 300, divided by 150, divided by 150, okay? So 450 divided by 150, that's equal to three. 300 divided by 150 is equal to two, okay? That's equal to two. So in this case, in order to make Let's see, at this rate, how many inches of steel are needed to make one spring? Okay, so 450 inches, same size. Okay, so that would mean one and one half. This is a mixed number. So what's, what's three divided by two? Let's double check here. Three divided by two. Two goes into three one time. Three minus two is one. All right. So in this case, we have a remainder of one. So it's going to be one and one half. Okay. Inches of steel are required to make one spring. And this makes sense because there's more inches of steel than springs. Okay? So to double check, we could do one and one half multiplied by 450, and we should get 300. Let's double check our work. So what would one half look like as a, as a decimal? Okay? So I know we have one, our whole number, and then one half is 0.5. All right, so I multiply 1.5 by 450, 450 multiplied by 1.5, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 5, 25, 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22, 0 in the tenths place, we go to the 1, 1 multiplied by 0 is 0, 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 4 
is 4. So we have 2250 two, plus 4500. Zero, zero. Let me do this up here so I have a little bit more space. So 2250 two, plus 4500. Zero, zero. Combine these together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. 2 plus 4 is 6. Okay? And then we have one value to the right of the decimal place. So we got to move our imaginary decimal over towards the left ones. Okay? So in this case, we got 675, which is not the same as 300. So we got to double check to see what we did here. So 3 divided by 2. Okay, so, so, okay, so in this case, I'm sorry, this was incorrect. This step here shows us that 3 over 2 is not accurate because we're supposed to multiply one half by 300 and that should give us 450. So my apologies here. Um, let me cross that one off. Okay. 15 is incorrect. A numerator of one's incorrect. So in this case here, I made a mistake. I multiply by 450, but I'm supposed to multiply 1.5 by 300. Because this is the amount of steel, I got to multiply the amount of steel by the number of springs to get inches. What I did here is I made the mistake of multiplying inches by inches. I did inches multiplied by inches, and then I just got a value that was unnecessary. So this would be 675 inches. But let's go back. I had the right idea, but I have to multiply 1.5 by 300. Okay? All right. Uh, stick with me here. So 300 multiplied by 1.5, all right? 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 3 is 15, all right? Put a 0 in the tens place, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 3 is 3. Okay, this looks much more accurate. So let me write it over here so I have a little bit more space. It's going to be 1,500... Well, it's not 1,500, it's really just 1,500, zero, zero, because remember, we got to add our decimal in at the very end, plus 3,000. Zero, zero, zero. I'm going to add this up. 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 0 is 5, 1 plus 3 is 4. So in this case here, we have our decimal value here. We're going to move it over one unit towards the left because there's one decimal value here. And finally, we get 450, okay? 450. So the accurate answer is one and one half. I was correct about that from the beginning, but I have to multiply one and one half by the number of springs, okay, in order to get 450, all right? So it won't be this, all right? They're going to use this problem to trick y'all. The answer is J, all right? The answer is J, all right? So this was my work here to explain. I selected the correct answer, and then I'm going to write a note up here, multiply 1.5 times 300 to get 450 inches, okay? All right, and these are the springs. Okay, you all, that was a long video, but I wanted to explain it thoroughly. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.